Hey guys, it's me, the B Gamer BB, and I'm here for another YouTube video, I guess is what I'll say. And I'm gonna be playing some Minecraft story mode. Uh yep. So I haven't played this for like a week at the least, I think. I think it's been like two weeks or something actually, I don't know. But uh yeah. Here we go. So this, I think this is part three of my uh, Minecraft story mode let's play thing. Oh uh, no. Sorry about that. Um, it's going in right now. It's still loading. Just let it load. All right. Play. Continue episode one. Okay, so I don't remember, I know it sets me back a little bit, so I don't remember what I did last time, so, uh, yeah. No, turn, my gosh. Yes, alright. Alright, I'll try, what the heck? It isn't working. It was like for real not working. All right, I would try not to talk. Stupid wooden sword. I know it's bad. I'll think of something. You're gonna have to make a run for it, okay? I'll meet you back in town. I promise. show you something not that this isn't a really cool dimly lit tunnel but how far away is this thing you want to show me careful jesse you don't want to get a reputation as a wimp this isn't my first time in a cave petra yeah but have you ever seen a wither skull whoa fresh from the nether you're the first person i've showed it to that's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Why didn't he just go get the skull himself? He's not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. What kind of guy is he, then? The kind who understands the value of hard work. Wow. Wow, what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it, as long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jack. Uh. Just place the pieces on the table. Oh. 
See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? <laughs> Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh, man. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jim. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. But a lecture on the power of my fists is short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers! Crap. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. That was a pretty cool scene. Just let me know if you see Ruben anywhere. He's got to be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Sure, I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We look everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. It was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just... Drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider-bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but... It's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or, like, a lot disappointed? The saddest of the sad sacks? They deserve this. Olivia, even you've got to admit that. Yeah, yeah. And I agree, but then also still hate them and everything they stand for. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right, the thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry, we're supposed to meet in the alley over there.
dark, dark, very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm, I was. Okay, new plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Okay, I'll hold down the fort. Thanks, Jesse. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to end it here, so see you next time, bye!